People are predominantly visual. Um, most people in our society are. Lawyers, however, are not. <laughs> Lawyers tend to be very oral. They kind of think and process information by hearing. And that's not the way most people think. Most people need an image. They need to tie it together to try to, to get that story. And what it does is it helps bridge the natural tendency that a lawyer might have to try to present something orally and helps you communicate more effectively present that narrative to a jury in a way that they can understand it and that's more persuasive. I firmly believe that, that people learn both by seeing and by hearing. And if you can combine those two sensory perceptions into one presentation, if I can think of ways to combine smell with it, I try to do that. So the more sensory perceptions you can combine in trying to persuade people, trying to get them to remember what you're telling them, uh, the better off you are. The oral uh, arguments and testimony as well as the visual um, demonstrative parts of a trial, demonstrative both in terms of, uh, of, of actual documents that are blown up and put in front of them as well as timelines and other things that we create for their use, uh, those are powerful persuasive tools. When a jury can see something that, 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 that is support your position is contrary to the, the government's position, that, that, that cloaks you in credibility, and, and that's, that's important. And finding ways to uh, illustrate ideas, but also to, to, to visually display the evidence in a way that's, that's understandable uh, to the jury, I, I think is critical in order to earn their trust, which is, is the most important, as I said, the most important asset you have. A timeline is a story. It, it shows in a graphic presentation from left to right what happened when and who did what to whom. Um, and you can do timelines in any, any number of ways. There are some times when you show on a timeline above the line what, uh, what your client knew, and perhaps on below the line what your client didn't know. And it can be a powerful story to be able to, to, to show uh, contrasting events that were going on simultaneously that someone knew about and other things that that person didn't know about. It helps the jury keep the whole case into context and all the evidence, all the testimony, all the documents that come after that, come in after that, they can look up at the timeline and see, okay, that's, that's where that happened. And that's very important, I think. Ken and his people did a fantastic animation for us. The judge, when he was looking at it at one point, turned to the other side and said, you know, if I credit this animation, you lose, don't you? So that was a really nice credit that was something that we had used actual data. We hadn't modeled it. We hadn't just did a, an animation, a cartoon. We took actual data off the engine so that it couldn't be cross-examined effectively. Um, and it was a very compelling animation. But that's what I mean by appealing to the judge by giving them a visual that explains what you're trying to say in, in a way that a, a judge can understand it. The same applies with a jury as well.